Well, hello, everybody. My name is Sarah, and this is Pearls of Wisdom with Clean Intermittent Fasting and an OMAD. Oh, how I love my OMADs. Right now, I'm drinking Vermont coffee, whole bean, medium roast, trying it out. I've been a dark roast fan forever, but I just thought I'd try the medium. It's nice. It's pleasant. I'd buy it again. Coffee is very important to me because I'm a clean intermittent faster. So black coffee is a huge part of my day. And so when I wake up in the morning, do you have a whole lot of little chores that you have to do in the morning like I do? Oh my goodness. The cats. I've got a I've got two drain two faucets that won't stop dripping. I wish Greg was here. <laughs> and um and then two drains that are wonky. I guess I'm going to have to pull the plug and call somebody to come and help me out with that. But then, you know, I wake up and it's like I prep my salad. I feed the cats, deal with them, their dishes, their water dish, their, you know, everything, maybe some laundry. Uh, so many things that go on in the morning when I wake up at three. People say, why do you get up at three? And it's like, because I have a long list of to-dos that just before, I, so I can leave the house and go to work, right? So anyway, everything is going well here. I had the hankering for a taco steak and, um, I mean, a taco salad. And there was this recipe um, somewhere, because I do get feeds that have recipes. And it was talking about the easiest thing in the world to do is take a jar of salsa and a chuck roast and put it in your crock pot. Well, I'm not a crock pot person per se. I've used one, but I prefer my little Martha Stewart enamel cookware and, um, you know, that cast iron covered and with enamel. And so I have a little little baby turquoise one that I love. So the um, I defrosted the chuck roast. It was in the freezer. And points for that, because I like to work off the freezer. And um, I got this jar of hot salsa, which I thought would be a lot of fun because I love hot salsa. And I thought, oh, my God, it's going to make the meat taste so good. And uh, I couldn't open it. And I've got a jar opener. And I worked on that <laughs> with the jar opener. I brought it into work and had some man open it for me there. <laughs> so anyway, I just put spices all in with the um, chuck roast so I could get it going because I wanted to slow cook it. And um, so that came out fine. And then I, now I've got the salsa. So I've got this big plate, if you've seen my OMAD um, pictures. And tonight will be the final fifth, uh, today, this afternoon, will be the final fifth meal of it. And when I say that when I like something, I could eat it every day, well, mm, with the taco salad. So I've got, so it's oval shaped. So at Nine o'clock is the sour cream, and I got Good Culture Probiotic Sour Cream at Whole Foods. Uh, 16 ounces, $2.99. I'm sorry, cheaper than Star Market, okay, where I work. And everybody tends to think that, like, Whole Foods is so expensive. Good Culture is the best. If you've had their cottage cheese, if you've had their, um, now, um, trying their sour cream, they're... The quality is just right up there. Um, it's not organic, but they have a whole list of things they don't do to their products. It's great. So there, and at noon, I put my um, beef that in the broth that the um, chuck roast made, I put some on that and then I, I warm it up in the um, toaster oven. So that part is warm, it's not cold beef. And then, um, if it was burger, it'd be the same thing. And then at three o'clock is the hot salsa. So good. And then at six o'clock, I've got chunks of avocado. Then I put some um, olive oil on the lettuce. And the lettuces that I'm using today are spring or O organic spring mix and uh, Livia's organic baby butter lettuce. So finishing up two of the lettuces. And I am, I'm just so happy. So it must be because it's my fifth time. So that's the end of the roast, five days of that, and we will go into a new cycle. So it it's just so great planning my little meal. 
I eat at two o'clock every day. I'm lucky. I'm eccentric. I live alone so I can do these sort of things. So I prep the salad part um, early in the morning, like right now. It's 3.30 as I record this or tape this or make the video, however we say it today. And, um, and then... When I'm done with work, I only work until 11 today, and then I have a, a gal pal coming at noon for ketchup, and then we will have, or I will have my salad after she leaves at 2. And so it's just an easy, simple way. And it's so funny because yesterday I was at work, and the head of the district of the drive up and go store shoppers, you know, like she doesn't, she doesn't live at our at our store. She just handles like the southeastern Massachusetts. So she sends out this email that people have been seen um, eating and uh, drinking things in the Doug area and leaving messes and crumbs and everything else. And it's like, well, it's not me because um, I don't have to because I have my OMAD and what a treat. And so it's funny because she said, well, I'm kind of guilty because I, you know, eat things in that area as well as drink things. And it's like, you know, I've had a water there, but um, they don't, they don't say you can't have water. It's just all the other things. And, um, you know, how most people have the cold coffee drinks these days. Never got into cold coffee. Always been a piping hot coffee drinker. Now that it's black, it's that much simpler. So it really simplifies my life to have just black coffee, just plain water. You know, I can take a San Pellegrino off the shelf and have that if I'm if I'm thirsty. When I take my breaks because I live 30 seconds away from the store, I literally drive home, plug in my electric kettle to heat up the water, grind the beans and have the freshest of fresh coffee that you can have. And then I drive back to work for 30 seconds with my mug and it's gone by the time I pull into the store parking lot. Simple, easy peasy. And I look forward to my OMAD because it is a feast. And so today I'm having that last salad. I'm having an ear of butter and sugar corn that I got at Whole Foods. It looked more butter and sugar than the star corn, the four packs. I haven't bought it in the husk yet this year. Um, and then I have a half of a corn muffin that I will grill. And, um, then I've got my little fruit thing, a little piece of cantaloupe, two huge strawberries that I got at Whole Foods, $3 and 30 cents cheaper than my store. $3 and 30 cents cheaper. One pound of strawberries is for organic strawberries at my store, $6.99, $3.69 at Whole Foods this week. Of course, you know, I look at what the prices are online. I'll go to the three stores, the Stop and Shop, Star, and Whole Foods to get what it is that I'm hankering for at a cheaper price. But I'm pretty simple to feed these days. Most of my food comes from the produce and the meat department, and that's it. I have a freezer full of meat, a freezer full of things like Michelangelina, the egg parm. I love their eggplant parmesan. Um, what else is in the freezer? Oh, some of my friend Lay's ice cream because I do like a little dish of ice cream a few times a week. And I put it into my OMAD and I love it. I love the rustic um, seed and grain bread along with my little corn muffin. And um, so I buy... A loaf of that each week. There's like seven slices in it of varying degrees from this big down to the, you know, the heel, which is like this big. And so I'm easy peasy. I, I like a big salad. I like a hunk of protein. I'm not afraid of the fat. Um, and then I like my dessert. So since I've included carbs into my life by way of either a grain or a fruit, um, and sometimes the the ice cream, it it fits. It fits into my OMAD. It fits into my no deprivation anymore. 
I'm not building up to binge. I'm not overeating when I finally get my hands on something that I don't allow usually. And it all works. You know, I'm feeling a hankering for pizza. I do have a screaming, um, a screaming pizza in my freezer. It's the one that's just cheese and thin crust, not the, not the one with everything on it. And so I could have that. I don't know. I've, I'm, <laughs> sky's the limit. I do like things like the pub burgers that we have at my store. Those are those thick kind of formed patties. I do like one of those with something like half of a Yukon that I first cook in the microwave. And then I, the day that I'm having it, I cut that potato in half and I grill it in butter. You know, I, I score it, put it face down, then put it on its, you know, bottom for a little bit just to heat that up and then back on. So the top is kind of crusty and I'll have that with the salad. I know that I've got some, I think I've got some baby spinach, but maybe I'll get some more um, baby arugula from um, Olivia's today and have my um, beet, goat cheese, arugula, and craisin salad um, along with like a pub burger or something like that. I, I just cook simply now. I'm not into anything fancy Nancy and I like it hearty and so my OMAD is pretty substantial because I eat it to carry me over to the next day at two o'clock. Um, the salad that I've been having is quite ample and I find that carbs and fat kind of fill me up. The good, the good carbs like in the fruits um, and the protein I suppose um, carries me as well but I'm not afraid of fats. I have plenty of oils, butter, and avocado, really pretty daily. And, um, and I love it. And I think that older women, I think that their brains and bodies utilize oil and avocados. And it's funny, of course, because I can be the, you know, secret observer of how people eat. And this beautiful, breathtakingly beautiful older woman, she she could be like a model. Think of Talbot's magazine for the older woman. Just a stunning, beautiful lady. And she came in in a little tennis skirt and um, something I, you will never find me in. My legs are shot. She was gorgeous. And the first thing, she comes in and you can tell that she's in a hurry. She's picking up her six or seven things and she's out of there. She may, might have a tennis date. I don't know. But um, anyway, she... The, she beelines over to the avocados and she buys like three or four of them. And I said, yep, yep. That's a woman that knows her body and knows what her body likes and how it handles it. You know, good fats. Yep. Anyway, it's kind of fun to just kind of like spy, you know. Um, and then the opposite is, is are the carts just filled? We had a sale um, last week for soda, like Coke and, um, buy two, get three free. And yet, yeah, and I was like the line for future diabetes forms here, or maybe they're already there. And, um, yeah, you don't see that in a lady that looks like that's cart. And besides she had a basket because it's just swinging in. And even though I work at a, you know, national brand store, star market, <clears throat> it's a small one, so it's kind of a, a in a niche area. It borders on like Hyannis Port, where the high end people have second or third residences that they come to in the summer, and um, you know they it, they tend to cater to these people. So going into it, the store it's not like your typical couple of football field size um, court. Uh, stores. It's very small and um, with a great produce section, even though it's more expensive than Whole Foods, <laughs> and a great um, meat department. They And the fish department is like excels. You know, he does a wonderful job. And so it's easy for me to shop and stay and be OMAD because I'm in and around it all day long. And 
my head has so many different meals planned, but I'm OMAD, right? So if I had three OMADs in a day, I could take care of the things that I'm thinking of. I could have the pizza and the pub burger and then um, the omelet, which I think I'm really going to end up with. I've got some happy eggs. They come in that little yellow six-pack carton. And I put good culture cottage cheese on the inside. I could even put some avocado because I've got another avocado. And I have that, and I could have that with my beet arugula goat cheese salad. That could be for um, tomorrow. And uh, it's delicious. And I've got some bacon. I could um, have a little bacon. Then I could cook the omelet in the bacon fat. Doesn't get better than this. So I'm kind of a planner. Um, you know, I keep a pretty well stocked fridge for a person that lives alone. I think if you opened up my refrigerator, you'd say, who's coming to dinner? But I just always keep plenty of butter, eggs, um, same with coffee. I've got plenty of coffee on hand. So, um, and then the salad, the um, clam shells of the different lettuces. And I'm happy. It's simple. And I look forward to my OMAD every day. I don't have things because I should. I have things because I want them. And fortunately for me, I love fresh produce and I love fresh fruit. And so, I, you know, if you looked at my meal, you'd say she eats a varied, a varied um, food program. And I do. I love it. The OMAD is the best thing that ever happened to me. The clean intermittent fasting is the cherry on top of that. I didn't understand the clean part until I understood the clean part and the difference it made in my body and the feeling that I feel knowing that everything I eat in the OMAD is all being digested while I practice my clean intermittent fasting, which is just black coffee no flavors, no, no sweeteners, no creamer, and the plain water, no fruity flavored water at all. I have my Element LMNT salt packet every morning in a glass of warm water that kicks off my day. It's raw, unflavored, so it doesn't spike anything. It doesn't tell my brain I'm eating, so it starts dropping all the insulin and woohoo! She's going to eat. Let's have something. Let's pack on the pounds. Nope. And it's funny. I saw this dietitian and she said, you know, the, the reason why people think that clean, that she didn't say clean, intermittent fasting works is because really you're going without a meal. Well, you know, I agree. I agree with that, but I put a lot into my meal. So it equals <laughs> probably two, two and a half meals that I have in my OMAD, but my body is getting that break of all that time with no more food coming in, no more insulin rushes, blood sugar rushes. It's like, that's the miracle. That is the secret sauce, so to speak, in my day. Just black coffee and plain water, and that makes the intermittent fast clean. And it's been working for me for a couple of years, so I'm not going to change it. I'm 72 and I love to eat. So if this is what's going to make me able to eat, I'll keep doing it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you here the next time. Bye-bye for now.